hello, and welcome to episode 8 of my Better Than Wolves Let's Play. So, in this episode, the plan is to experiment a little bit with anchors and rope, and use the anchor and the rope to aid in my exploration for diamonds. So, I've got some rope that I here made earlier. Um, and now I've just got to make an anchor and I'm going to test it in the safety of my base for now and then I'll go off into the wild and see if we can find any diamonds so to make an anchor you need your three bits of smooth stone with a piece of iron on top and that makes an anchor like so so apparently all I have to do now is place this anchor I'm not 100% sure if you can get them back. I guess I can get them back by right clicking, but I haven't tried. So now, if we imagine I'm at the top of a ravine, I can take my anchor, place it on the side of the wall, and then by holding the rope in my hand and right clicking, it adds one piece of rope onto the anchor with each click. So I'll keep clicking, and I can't add any more, so it must have hit the bottom. And now, apparently, this functions similar to a ladder. So I can climb up and down. If I hold shift, does it stop me falling off the side? No. Nope. So they're a bit fiddly. Looks like they're quite easy to fall off. You can hold shift like on a ladder, but. Yeah. So now, apparently, if I right click on this with anything but rope in my hand, it will retract the rope back into my inventory. And then I'm guessing bit of pickaxe and I've got my anchor back. So yeah, that seems quite a handy little tool for adventuring. I like, I like that. So with that in hand, I should be able to quite easily go out on a bit of an explore. So I'm just going to quickly prepare for my adventure, get all the required tools and stuff I might need. Uh, think about it, actually, I'm very low on wood, so I'll very quickly do a quick wood chopping montage so that I have enough materials and then I'll um, sorry my it was like my D key wasn't working then. <laughs> yeah, I'll quickly go grab some wood and then um, prepare for my adventure Right, I've got the required materials for a bit of venturing now. As you can see, I've got my full set of iron armour to keep me safe. And i um, got a bit more wood, so I've made up some fresh tools. And um, that's enough of that. Yeah, fresh tools, got some supplies, lots of torches. Got some anchors and some rope, so that um, I should be able to plummet any depths that I find. Uh, let's grab this rotten meat, useful for the wolves. It'd be nice to find some spawners, so it's always nice to have a skeleton one for lots of arrows, and a, it'd be good to have a zombie one for lots of meat for the old wolves, although I can just feed them, you know, my beef, my steak that I get from farming. Uh, but I found it's not a ravine, but it seemed a nice place to try out the old anchor out in the in the wild. So yeah, you just pop it on down. Don't accidentally press Q and throw remaining anchors down there. That would be silly. Right click on this. Oh, you can hold it down. Hold down right click. There you go. I've placed lots of rope. And um, now this is going to be comical because it is going to be me plummeting to my death off the um, off off a off a right. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can just get that back. Not that far. I can fall now, can't I? Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Got me safely down into my um. 
my little cave. And let's try and keep it so I can always go back if I need to. So I'll do a quick explore on camera. Get the exciting adventuring done. And any possible near misses and deaths. We'll record those. But when it comes to um, clearing out the cave of goodies, I'll do that all off camera. Try keep it interesting. So let's quickly do this little fork. So what we're after is um, diamonds. So we want the tunnel really to just drop off quite sharply downwards. Um, maybe some lava pools as well which a bucket of water can be added to I want this skeleton to shoot the um, creeper but it doesn't seem to want to this armor's coming in handy bit wary about this sword's gonna break mid combat. I might just swap it out now to save any problems. Um so it looks like we've got quite a nice big buck. See this is why you wear armour. Oh, bit of lag. Um yeah. Goddamn creeper. Looks like he's Oh, you beautiful creeper, this could have been a lovely accident. It looks like this creeper has discovered the entrance to a little ravine. See? Not all creepers are bad. And from the looks of things, it must be under the ocean. There's, see that sheep? As we've got a lot of water coming down. So yeah, praise the creepers. He's actually been quite useful given this nice ravine to explore. Although not that deep. So probably no diamonds at the bottom of it. But hey. Although it looks like that cave, yeah, it did come round to it. So I'm going to want to put the torches on the side, that makes sense. Uh, I won't destroy the source block, we'll just stem the flow. So yeah. So we've got a little ravine to come down and explore. A worrying noise. Grass there. Where are we? So I think my base is just over this hill. Yep, this is my windmill. So yeah, that ravine must come out into this river. Yeah, it's down there. It's quite cool. That bit of a bit of a hole there. Outside again, some coal. We want to get down into the depths. Is that back into this ravine? I think it's probably the same one, isn't it? I'll just wander along a bit. So I think it should have a look. It's all getting a bit confused. 
confusing, isn't it? Okay. A bit touchy. So, they're on the right, so that's going back. So this is exploring deeper. And it comes around to here. And I'm guessing this is going to come back around. Yeah, I can see light off in the distance. I can hear a lot of zombies and other nasties around. We've got quite a nice ravine here. It's not very deep. Might be a idea at some point to get the whole anchor and rope going down to explore the bottom, but it just seems to be a lot of monsters and not a lot of diamonds. I am tempted. I might explore this and then just do a bit of maybe make a mine shaft safe in the safety of base and just do a bit of branch mining down deep. Oh, sorry about the lag. I don't know if it's because my computer's uploading a video to YouTube at the moment while I'm recording this one. But it, it, yeah, perhaps just seems a bit unhappy recently. It used to be fine. I just jump down here and see what's just a little room, it's nothing. And then this will be it's gonna hurt but uh, Back down here, the torches on the right, and this is taking me back to where I came in. I came from up there, did I? Yep. Oh, there's someone having a shot at me. I just want to double mark that so I know that's the way out. Before we delve deeper, this looks quite good zombie. Oh, did end. End man. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Silly amount of lag. Game's destined to try kill me, but I don't want to die. So this armor's holding out, lovely. Yes. Ah, oh, that's we're back at. Yeah, so that's the um, way we came in. I just managed to get a bit lost because I went down that way. So I don't. I kind of want the torches on this side because this is going in, isn't it? Okay. Oh, wait, did I look at him? No. Still, hopefully that light up ahead is um, lava. I kind of want the creeper to blow up the end of man. Because that'd be funny. So is this lava? Oh, this little lava falls. Um, this video is probably getting a bit long now. Let's try have it ending with some diamonds. Now that uh, it'll be hard to see in the video, but this is a very big open room. I can barely see it so dark with lovely um, very nice high ceilings. Uh, very grand.
Yeah, like a big circular cavern. That would be quite nice to light up and have as like an underground base, but we're quite happy in our little castle at the moment. Oh, Creeper! Where are you hiding? Off here, eh? Just eat some steak. Get my health back. Well, as fun as this adventure has been, I might have to call it quits soon because we're getting low on torches. Although I'm slowly getting more and more lost. But we've found some still lava, which is nice. Gold? Might just grab that while I'm here. Whoa! See, this is why you should never mind straight down. Could be a big hole underneath. Alright, torches. But yeah, this lava can be used. Some redstone. Could worry about getting knocked into lava. Oh, we've got some natural obsidian, lots of gold. Whoa! Me sprinting into lava. Not the best of ideas. Got to, got to take it, got to take it easy. Yeah, I'm getting quite lost. Nice little patch of city in there. More gold. No diamonds. No diamonds. Um, so yeah, I might call that it for this episode pretty much. I'll just, on the way back out, try mine as much as I can and do a little recap at the end. So, see you in a sec. Here we go. That's what we came for. Sadly, it might just be one diamond so far. Well, so I've only got one at base, so we do need to find two diamonds down here, really. Oh, look at the Enderman. Alright, let's go see what what's what back here. Oh, yes. There we go. That's why you've always got a mine all the way around. To make sure you get the whole vein. Because sometimes a vein has other diamonds off in a diagonal. You know, off diagonally. So even if you mine out the diamond you can see, there might be another one that you can't see off diagonally. Oh, yes. There we go. I'm just gonna check. There we go. So now we have our diamonds. Um, I found there's too much stuff in this cave system. It's just gone on and on and on. And I'm miles away. I don't even remember how I got in. So I might just see if I can head up at some point and try find a way back home. So I'll. Um, have an update when I've made it back safely. There we go. After what felt like an age, I finally found my way back. Let's just light this up a little bit so I know it's there. So yeah, that was a very productive little escapade. I've come back home now. I'm gonna gonna deposit all my goods make up my diamond pick and then I'm going to have to delve back down into the deeps because I'm going to want a um, to get some obsidian but I um, yeah that was a very long and windy path back down so let's quickly just dump off this cobblestone and we'll take a stock of what we've managed 
So, found six diamonds. That's good. Uh, 19 bits of gold ore, apparently. Um, 64, so about 70 bits of iron. Um, a fair few stacks of coal. Keep this on us. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, and the old um, redstone. I did see some lapis lazuli on my travels actually, but I just kind of forgot to pick it up. <laughs> I was too busy. Um, yeah, so quite a success successful trip. I'm just gonna have to um, go get my 14 bits of obsidian. So I can make my nether portal, and then I'll be good to go. So, back shortly. So there we go, that was a successful obsidian hunt. I got quite a bit, just so I've got enough to build a portal, and then maybe another portal in the nether to come out back into the overworld, and enough to have an enchanting table and all that stuff. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, so next episode we will be venturing to the nether grabbing some netherrack and then we'll get the whole stewing pot set up. So, see you next time.